welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your own multi-stage water filter. To complete this project, we're going to have to use some power tools and fire. Let's get started. things to complete this project. I'll show you what we're going to need. A couple of these standard water filters, 10 inch. This is just a standard filter. This one happens to be made by DuPont, but they're all pretty much the same. Water comes in here, comes out here. This is your pressure release button when you want to change the filter. And what we're going to do is put the pressure gauges right here on this side to give us an indication of when it's time to change the filter. Right. I know this is only plastic, but it's always a good idea to give yourself a center punch mark whenever you're drilling, just to make sure your drill bit doesn't wander. Right. You want to get that right about there. And now we'll drill some holes. We're going to use a couple different size drill bits. We don't want to jump right in and try and hog it all out at once. We need to end up with a 7 16 inch hole when we're finished. Now that we have our hole drilled to 7 16 we're going to tap it so it will accept the pressure gauge. To use quarter inch NPT. I'm just going to use a regular old high quality crescent wrench and run the tap down in. You want to keep this as straight as possible. Slowly turn it in. We're only going into plastic, so it's not going to take a lot of force. The most important thing here is to make sure it goes in straight. And then every once in a while you want to turn it back a little bit so the material that's being cut by the tap can break off. When you are tapping holes with a pipe thread tap, it's not like a normal tap which is straight. A pipe thread tap is tapered, so you don't run it in all the way. You want to leave a little bit of the tap left. I ran this in about two thirds of the way. That should give you enough to match the taper of the threads on your pressure gauge so it'll catch and give you a good seal. Another thing you want to do when you're finished tapping is see those little strings there that are left over from the tapping process down in the hole. You need to clean those out of there, otherwise they're going to get into the plumbing system. All right, now that we have our hole tapped and cleaned out, we're going to put our pressure gauge in. We have to put some Teflon tape around it. run my nail in the threads to push the tape down in there. Keep in mind when you're putting this in here, your th 
you're threading a metal fitting into plastic. It doesn't have to be super tight. And I don't even think I'm going to need to put a wrench on that. It should be good just like that. Now we just have to do it two more times. Okay, now we have our three head units all assembled. Now we have to put them together. And we're going to use these fittings right here, the uh, hex nipple, and we're going to just thread the three pieces together. There we have it all put together. Now we just need to put the filters in. Okay, this filter right here is the one that comes with the unit. This is has the um, smallest holes. This one's going to go in the last housing because it's going to filter out the smallest particles. In the middle, we're going to put this 10 micron filter. And in the first one, we're going to put a paper filter to filter out the sediment. Drop in and screw on to the bottom. There you have it. Your very own multi stage water filter. Simple as can be. These units do come with a wrench to tighten up the filter housing. Don't get carried away using this. You only want to snug these up a little bit. If you put them on too tight, you're going to have one heck of a time getting them off. Alright, now we're going to prepare the rest of the plumbing. We're going to need to connect this to the house, and these are the fittings we're going to use. For this application it might be a little bit different on your house but the first thing we need to do is clean all the fittings so we can get a good solder joint all right I have all the fittings cleaned up these brushes are okay but to get a much better job can't beat the emery cloth gets everything nice and clean. You want the ends of the pipe and the inside of the fittings as clean as you can get them so they're nice and shiny so it'll accept the solder really well. Now we have to get some flux and goop it up everywhere we're going to be soldering it. Alright, before I assembled all of these I took the time to take these threaded fittings screw them into the filter housing on either end and made myself a little mark you can see it there a little black line just so I would know where it's going to be once I tighten it up you want to do as much of your solder work away from the plastic as you can so a little solder on these joints This is the house where we're going to take out the single stage filter and put in the multi stage filter. If you have a house that already has a filter in it, you should have a shutoff valve before the filter. And 
send one after the filter. If you don't, you're going to need a shutoff valve on either side of your filter mechanism. This one happens to have the water softener in between the two shutoff valves, which is fine. You can do that if you like. That's probably a good idea if you do have a water softener. Okay, so I have the water shut off up top so I don't have to drain the entire house. This one I'm going to leave open because I need to drain this system down and reroute these lines a little bit. You may or may not have to do that. Alright, I already screwed the mechanism to the wall and rerouted the plumbing. And now you can see here's where the shutoff valve is going to be. I have it wrapped in a damp rag and I wrapped the other side of the fitting in a damp rag to try and isolate the plastic and the valve from the heat of the torch so we only have to solder this joint right here. Alright, that should do it. Alright, I have the water turned back on at the house and it's all leak checked up to this valve so now let's turn this on and see how we do and our gauges are all going up and I don't see any dripping we are good to go now we have a do-it-yourself multi-stage water filter and the best part about this one is it's pretty cheap you can do it yourself in a day and you're not stuck with some expensive filter the filters for these you can buy pretty much anywhere and the way we're going to know when it's time to change the filter is just make a note of where the gauges are and when they start to drop off you'll know your filter's starting to clog and it's time to change it. And that pipe right here, that is not for water hammer. Um, we have a expansion tank here. So we're not going to have any water hammer issues. That is there. So in the future, we can connect the hose bibs for the outside to that pipe. There's no sense in filtering water that you're going to use for watering the garden or washing your car. So that's what that pipe is for, future expansion of unfiltered water. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 